Hello YouTube and Preppers, this is the Comms Prepper, and in this video I'm actually going to talk about radios. I know it's been a while, I got a little sidetracked with the drone videos, and we've been real busy with our move this summer, but things settled down over the weekend, and I had a chance to set up some of the radios, that's what the intro was. I was actually monitoring a 40 meter net on the ICOM IC718 connected to the Chameleon Antenna F-Loop Antenna. But the subject of tonight's video is going to be the ICOM ID4100 D-Star mobile radio that you see here and getting it set up to connect to an iPhone. In my previous 4100 video, I demonstrated how to install the optional Bluetooth module in the radio and now that I have the Bluetooth module, I can make that Bluetooth link between the radio and my phone and take advantage of ICOM's newest application in the iTunes store the RS-MS1i application and I'll put a link down below. About a year and a half ago I did a video on how that application for the Android version operating system worked and what the application allows you to do is emulate very much like a cell phone sending text messages between radios this doesn't need the cellular towers to work you can actually use this application to text between a phone connected to a radio, to another radio, to a phone. You can do text messaging, share photographs, do online mapping and offline mapping. Now tonight I don't have another licensed ham radio operator here, so I can't demonstrate how this works, but at least I want to introduce this application and I'll use some screenshots from the phone in this video and show you a couple of the settings you need to actually change in the radio and then show you how the phone pairs to the radio. So off screen what you can't see is I have the application instructions from ICOM and there's two settings you want to check. The first thing you want to check is under the functions menu to make sure the CIV transceive function is set to on. So I'm going to demonstrate how you do that. We're going to hit the menu key here. We're going to go to function. As you see here, we're going to push the VFO knob to select and you can see where it says CIV. We're going to hit CIV. Then we're going to hit CIV Transceive and make sure it's on. Now we'll hit the return button here and we'll back out of the menu. And the next thing we want to check is actually under the Bluetooth settings. So we're going to scroll down to the Bluetooth settings. We're going to go to Data Device Set, Serial Port Function, and you want to make sure it's CIV Echo Back. Let me make sure I get this right. Echo Back Off. Hit select, back out, and now the radio is ready to set up a Bluetooth link provided you installed the optional Bluetooth module. And you can link your phone to the radio, and there you can do basic function control of the radio, like selecting repeaters on the D Star system, and in simplex mode, transmit text messages between two radios using your phone, send pictures, do offline mapping, and things like that. All right, we're over on the iPhone now. I'm using a desktop capture software on the phone, and we're going to demonstrate the pairing of the application to the radio. I'm going to go ahead and select the application. The pairing is done within the application. You actually don't use the settings gear on the iPhone to make this pair up. You actually go into the application to do it. Of course, I've already paired it once, but we'll tap it here and show you the pairing messages you get on the radio and on the phone. And once it's paired up, you now get the application showing you what you see on the front of the radio. Here you can change the power of the radio from the application. You can come into other settings and tweak the application to work the way you want. Um, you can go into the offline mapping. You can actually take pictures on your iPhone and then transmit them through the phone's Bluetooth to the radio and then over amateur radio to another radio to another application user. So I think this application has a lot of potential for amateur radio, emergency preparedness in the prepping community because it allows you to retain some of the functionality you're used to in your mobile devices using amateur radio should cell phone service go down. You can still do a lot of the things you're used to doing with your cell phone. So I apologize I can't do a live demonstration because I don't have another ham radio operator up here right now. But I did do a video about a year ago demonstrating the Android version of this application, the RSMS1 application. 
and I'll put a link down below and there we were able to send pictures back and forth and do some text messaging. One thing I should note with this application is right now it only works with the ICOM ID4100. That's the Apple version. I'm not sure if there's plans to extend this to the ID5100 mobile radio or the other product lines, but I did call ICOM tech support and confirm that right now the, the iOS version of this application is only working with the ID4100 radio that you see here. So that's my quick intro video on what I had to do to set up the radio to pair it up with my iPhone to use the RSMS1i application. It's available in the iTunes store. I'll put a link down below. And I'm glad I was able to get back on topic and make a radio video. And as always, thank you for watching my videos and subscribing to my channel. This has been the Comms Prepper with a brief introduction on the RSMS1i application for your phone and the ICOM ID4100 D-Star Mobile Radio. Thanks for watching everybody.